All right, so I, I got one on that and it it hit like, it's been so cold today, I'm not all that surprised, but it hit right when I stopped stripping and then just kept a little bit of tension on there and that fly was just kind of fluttering and levitating. It was a pretty soft strike and I, uh, if I hadn't stayed connected, it probably could have gone unnoticed very, very easily. And I got to wonder over the years, you know, how many fish I missed when I'm, when I'm not diligent about keeping connected to that fly. So yeah, great hookup. So let's get this guy landed. There he is. Kiss him goodbye. Beautiful fish. So yeah, uh, anyway, that tip again, strip, strip, pause, but stay connected. That fish picked that up light. Uh, all right, let's go see if we can't get another one. Are oh, you ready? Leeches are the number one food source for most trout in lakes. If you go across the country, there are great lakes on public land to fish all over the place uh, for both trout and panfish and smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, and everything. So, uh, whether you're trout fishing, bass fishing, or anything else, if you're new to fishing lakes, a great way to start is with leeches and leech patterns. They're a very abundant. So a basic way to start with leech fishing is gonna be a, a sinking line that sinks very slowly. We would call that an intermediate, typically. And uh, the one I'm using is a clear tip intermediate, and there is a link to a whole bunch of different lake fishing lines in the video description. So you can shop around. The one I'm using is just a clear sinking tip as I'm fishing a lot of shallow ledges in this lake here today. Uh, you can get ones that have a full intermediate sink. Just get started with one or the other. It doesn't matter. You're gonna adjust over time and as you gain experience, you'll decide on which line is best for you. So today I'm wade fishing the edge of a lake and what I'm doing is I'm walking along the shoal and the shoal is essentially where I can see the bottom and then it drops off. And so right here, it drops off about 15 feet away from myself. And so I'm walking along and picking strategic areas where I think there's a good drop off. And with leech fishing, we're gonna, it's, it's really a lot of fun because you actually get to kind of play the role of the critter a little bit. So you actually get to swim fast or slow and figure a little bit out about what's working. I'm gonna get just a little bit more line out here. The other thing that's fun about fishing leeches is you do get to send it a little bit and make some longer casts. It's really enjoyable. So when I get to a shoal like this, I'm going to cast out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a countdown method. I'm going to say one, I'll, I'll say one trout, two trout, three trout, four trout. Maybe I'll start with a five trout sink. And that's going to essentially help me track how much I'm sinking. And then I'll start to my strip retrieve like this. Strip, strip, pause, and just keeping a little tension. Strip, strip, pause, just keeping a little bit of tension. Strip, strip, pause, just keeping a tiny bit of tension to help me stay connected to that fly. I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve the leech all the way in, right up near my rod tip. And for the sake of a video length, I'm gonna go ahead and pretend that I stripped all the way up to my rod tip, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast it out again, and I'm gonna take a false caster. I'm gonna fire it out again. Well, I didn't get a bite that time, so now I'm gonna go to a 10 trout count. One trout, two trout, seven trout, eight trout, 10 trout, and then I'm gonna go ahead and strip it again and again. It, for me, my classic strip is a strip, strip, pause, but I just, almost a slow strip during that pause, just to help me stay connected and feel for subtle strikes and keep that fly from going into a total dead float. I just want a little bit of momentum as though that leech wiggled and stopped contorting its body for just a moment. Maybe it's gliding just a little bit forward like that. So let's go ahead and strip, strip, pause strip strip pause and you're gonna vary the, the 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 cadence of your retrieve just a little bit in colder water we generally move slower and in, in warmer water if the fish are really snappy we'll generally strip a little faster and the strip can actually act as a bit of a hook set okay so a couple of tips for you uh, when it comes to stripping leech patterns we want to stay very well connected uh, to our fly okay so I've stripped out and my rod is gonna be balanced right here on my finger. I'm not gripping it real tight. And my rod tip, as you can see, is right down on the water. So my rod tip is actually on the water or even under the water. What I can't have is I can't have a bunch of line hop of my line hopping up and down and making erratic motions. Leeches swim in a very regular pattern. And if my rod tip is moving and my line is hopping around, I've got almost no chance. 
So we want to make sure that we're extremely connected. The other tip that I want to share with you is learning to strip strike. And this is going to help you if you, if you have aspirations of saltwater fishing someday. When I do get a strike, I'm going to strip strip. And on my pause is just constant tension, strip, strip, and a little bit of tension on the second one, strip, strip, and a little bit of tension. And let's just say I feel a bite, and I've been hitting the bottom out there a little bit, so I might just use the bottom as a prop here, but strip, strip, and a little bit of tension. When I feel that bite, I'm going to try to refrain from lifting my rod tip like I would traditionally set. It's hard to do. It's a great place to practice as fishing leeches in lakes. I'm going to go ahead and do an aggressive strip with my left hand. Uh, if, if I connect with the fish and develop a tug of war, at that point I can go ahead and raise my rod and meet the fish. Use my rod as a shock absorber for when that fish decides to flee and, and escape uh, the theoretical danger. But uh, fishing leeches is great fun. Uh, there's lakes. We have, we have 640 million acres of public land in this country and there's lots of places you can go fish leeches. And you can do it from a boat, you can do it from a float tube. Uh, you can try to stock shores using, um, I'm in open water right now, but you can use roll cast to strip leeches. If you're getting into lake fishing for the first time, it's a really fun place to start and really fun to feel those fish grab. But just stay diligent with that rod tip down, really focused, dead steady, becoming the critter, playing the role of the critter in that real slow undulation. Uh, also in the video description down there, you're going to see a link to some lake flies and some leeches that I like to fish as well when I'm out for a day on the water of lake fishing.